All right, in this tutorial, I'd like to explain how to use the parentheses key. Uh, I'm going to start out by clearing my ether. Hit the menu, hit ether, clear. Yes. And I will create a new instance bubble, and that pops up my keypad. Now you notice on the keypad there's this key here, which says begin pren, comma, end pren. And what this does is it automatically kind of anticipates which of these three symbols that you want and uh, types in the correct one. So let's try a simple example of that. Uh, I'm going to type in three times, and now what I would like to do is I'd like to add four plus five together and multiply it by that three. So I'm going to hit the pren button, it gives me a begin pren, type four plus five, and then I'll hit it again, and this time it gives me an end pren, hit equals, and gives me an answer. Uh, now you may be wondering about the comma. In some cases, a function will take multiple parameters, and those parameters will be separated with a comma. So let's let's get a, let's see what that looks like. So I double click, create an instance bubble, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this blue button right here to give me some options on my keypad. So I'll go to the miscellaneous tab, and I'm going to select this min function. What the min function does is it takes two numbers in, and it it gives me the 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 smallest number back. So I'm going to type in eight. I'll hit my parentheses button, and now it knows that there's multiple parameters in the min, so it puts a comma. I'll type in 11, and I'll hit the parentheses button again, and it gives me an end paren. It equals, and I get an answer. Okay, so those are pretty simple uh, examples. Let's try a more complex one. So double tap, and this time I'm going to use the, I'll use the max function. And we'll try 7 times, and now I'm going to hit the parentheses button again. It gives me a begin paren. Uh, 6 plus 3, I'll hit it again gives me an end paren. I hit it again, gives me a comma. Hit it a third time, I get a begin paren. And now I'll type 2 plus 3 times 4 plus 5, end paren, end paren. And we'll hit equals, and I get my answer. So that is the parentheses button.